What is up guys, welcome back to another Forge video, sorry my cam, webcam is still not available for you guys. So I came to decide that I was going to continue doing a better yes of Forge videos like this, because I don't know any other YouTuber that forges similar to this, except for Dark Shark Forge, except he doesn't do it in the form of a Let's Play. Uh, some people are actually taking just do this video, despite me not even being sharing my content, somehow I randomly get 30 views. But then again, I have 30 subscribers for this channel currently, since this channel is fairly new. But that, oh my god, my cords, cords, cords! I'm a little up and about today, guys, so I might be a little bit better today, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm not tired and all lumpy like I've always been, which is why I named my channel 31 Static because I was a laid-back gamer and I like recording at night. And at night is normally when I'm tired and oh my fucking god, cords! They're tangled. OCD moment. I don't. Oh my gosh. Where is this tangled? Where is this tangled? Right there. Right there. Right there. Come on out. There we go. Over here, don't unplug anything. You, under here. Thank you. Sorry, guys. This is, I didn't bother to set up before I started recording. Oh, too bad I didn't have my webcam. You guys can see me going all with OD, CD in here. Um, I'm so, so it's a good thing I don't have my webcam because I'm not, oh my god, cords. Off of that. Why do I have extra long cords? I don't even need them. Ugh, now my hair's bothering me. Well, this was a fucked up start. Oh, well. At least I'm awake, guys, and it's probably a little more entertaining. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another Forge video, and sorry this is taking me for so long. Um, oh, crap. I can't see how long the time's elapsing here. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go base this off my audio here, then. Or whatever I, I want to check, so I'm going to do this, because I need to make sure that uh, I'm still capping, so... This will just be my kind of sort of counter. You guys can't see what I'm doing on my computer. Sorry. I'm messing with Audacity, which is the program that I'm recording with. I just want to make sure I can see both things. All right. Good. We're here. Okay, guys. Welcome. Okay, so before I begin this forge officially there and tell you what I'm going to be doing for this, um, I uh, want to start up by saying, guys, um, you may have noticed from the last two videos, since I started recording it now, that... My thing says hua. Um, and I'm wearing a Sanghili emblem. I want to throw out, guys, that I am starting a community to petition to 343 that we as Halo players want the Sanghili back. Over the course of the two days, we have gained a total of 18 people and counting. Um, I haven't counted everyone. They themselves, all of us are going around finding everybody who wants to be a part of the thing, wants to sing Hillies back. And our initial goal, first of all, is obviously get enough people. But uh, the idea was thrown out by these 18 people that we subscribed that we're going to write out a petition, sign it, and send it to 343 saying, Yo, this is how many signatures you got, and this is how many people want elites back. Are you going to listen or not? We're pretty much doing a constitution to them. <laughs> so they're, they're probably going to have to respond to this. Uh, if they not release anything for Halo 5 the DLC, at least hopefully for Halo 6, our goal is to at least get them back. And they're popular in main course games, playable in matchmaking like Halo Reach and everything. And a lot of people are talking about asking me, how the hell is this going to co co you know, co relay to to what Spartan abilities are today. This will be a whole nother video, guys. As a matter of fact, um, I'm probably going to re-talk about it, redo that Let's Play that I had uh, signed up for the Elite thing, but because we started HOA, I'm probably going to restart that. So, if you guys want to support me, you see my gamer tag here. Uh, please message me on XBL. Anybody who sees this, who wants, who remembers playing as Elite back for to join OHA, OHA which uh, OHA is a Sanghili word for save. So, OHA Sanghili is the name of our community. You can look us up on Spartan, uh, so the Sp uh, Spartan company on HaloWaypoint.com, which we're going to try and get you guys to join because we need to show 343 that we're active and we're going to. 
that we're going to be an active community. So we're definitely going to need to do that. And when the Spartan community becomes too full, we'll start another faction, which was my, which I was going to do as the next faction, and so and so forth. So what we need to do is get a lot of people in this, and I, I mean a lot. Judging by how many people play, and we're probably going to need like. Maybe even more than just a freaking thousand. We're gonna need to really gather together and show 343. We're we're being serious about this. We need to do what we all did with Halo. Yeah, um, even Halo followers mentioned it. That's about time. But this is all for another video, guys. So please message me back if you're interested on in the fight to bring some Hilly back. Uh, I'm the founder of Oha, uh, assisted by Xenomorph 37, who is. Um, our co-founder which real quick uh this is his gamer tag right here as you can see he's already got his stuff all set up so uh if you guys want to go message him or message me that's fine uh just get a hold of us we are trying to get into oha and uh currently we are the only two online that are part of us right now that's okay uh there are some of us that i'm still trying to recruit and i would show you the messages a lot of people messaging me back about this i was surprised at how populous this was so um i thought i'd throw this out in the video and it's probably even going to be the title of the video maybe i don't know but uh, that's all that's going here. So sorry, I spent six, mi almost five minutes in, into that uh, for the, the intro. Uh, that's all you need to know about Oha for now until you want to talk to me in person. So that's just me as a YouTuber for this uh, situation. So anyway, getting into the let's play, I have decided. It took me a minute to decide what I was gonna do. I had several things decided, and I decided to put two things together, and I am making it the actual thing. So. What I'm going to do here now is I'm actually going to, uh, I was going to load an alpine, but oh, I want to do parallax, that's the question. Parallax, glacier has night time, uh, that's, that's nothing else has really good forerunner stuff for this. So, um, it would either be alpine or glacier. Can I, can I not spin that? Oh, come on. Right there, go fast. I can do it to the top too. Okay, and let's just go alpine. All right. So I've decided what I'm going to do here in Forge, and actually I'm going to do something that has not probably been thought of yet. And this idea, I'm going to say this now, came from Xenomore 37, who's my friend in Oha here, who is also my forging partner technically right now, who helped me make A and skirmish. He asked, "Do you think it's possible to remake Invasion from Halo Reach?" And of course, the modded game type from Halo Four of Invasion in Halo Five, and maybe without modding. Well, when you really think about it, I put some thought in it, and this is one reason I believe Sing Healy should come back is the fact that they started Invasion. The reason why the whole reason we had Invasion, and so these strongholds are we're gonna be working with. But I'm gonna make my own when I do this. But anyway, the point of this is. Um, Halo 5, uh, that Elite started Invasion, and it's been a fun thing since the beginning of time, and people have been playing it. And Halo 4, Invasion evolved into Dominion, which was very miraculously awesome. That was, I think, was a better version of Invasion. And then, and Halo 5, it evolved even further back to the similar sways of, um, as of an invasion of Reach, except without Covenant, of course, but maybe AI issues you can count that. Warzone, which Warzone itself is technically an invasion. Warzone, the normal Warzone game type is similar to that of Dominion, and then um, Invasion Assault is exactly the same replica replication of Invasion from Halo Reach, where you have one side, one team moves, the team moves in, they win, except there's no switching sides know you know different rounds for the win so i put I me mean, i put some thought in after xenomorph asked about it and i think it might be possible since halo 5 allows scripting so since um scripting is actually a possible thing um in halo 5 and all this uh with the right scripting these bad boys might be able to turn into our invasion points so that's what this today's forge is going to be about uh there's going to be a lot of trial and errors and this is going to be my next forge series and i'm not going to rest till i figure this out this is going to be incredibly hard so i've already realized one issue i'm going to have is that when you reach the point limit this so to say is going to uh 
you know, not not actually appear and restart the score, which is something we kind of would hope for that you could do. And I may have to wait till they release the game type update, which is coming this February, hopefully. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and do what I told you guys before, map properties, and we're going to go all the way down to delete all objects. So now we have a crisp, clear forge, and let's just go pick a general idea. So, let's see, nice, good old tin tanking area. I think I actually might want part of the terrain in this. I wish they would let us go up there, because up there is where I would have forged, but they don't. It looks like a nice spot, actually, to go forge. I bet if you try hard enough, you may be able to glitch yourself. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, well... There's nowhere real in Alpine that I want to be exactly, so I'm just going to kind of start from scratch. So, I think I have to build this as a Forerunner theme kind of map. So, I do know a little trick here that I thought was kind of cool. Uh, at the bottom of these bad boys are kind of that skittish kind of look. You know, Covenanty or Forerunner like, even though it's. Uh, which are not shiny and all that, so I might just use breakout blicks. Uh, brick blicks. Walls and floors, blocks. Hmm, what do you think here? You know what, let's go ahead. So, I got a general idea of a theme that I kind of want to start with. And I thought it would be a cool beginning to the map, actually. So, uh, let me position this just right. Right where I want this. This is like the start. I'm going to go like bare neck and bone to the back of the map here. I need to find the widest point of the map. Uh... And it roughly looks like it will be like over here and up a little ways. They have a like up this high. How high up can we actually go? They don't put a thing. So this roughly looks like our max distance here. So this is going to be my starting spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate these guys. Just kind of into a delicious design. This is not going to be so. The spawn is actually just like rather right here. They're not actually going to be able to go over to the side here. This, these are going to be like designs, part of the design of what I had in mind. This is why I wanted the long space. So let me get these bad boys into place. That looks good. And I'm going to now try to kind of make it look like it's going into kind of a forerunner theme kind of style and actually right here wedges might be exactly what i want so where can i find wedges structures uh, slopes wedges Tool settings. So, I mean, that doesn't look too bad for a start. Uh, trying to get a Forerunner aesthetic theme going on here. Uh, of course, this is going to be slightly hard knowing how Forge is. Yeah, see, that's my issue right there. Uh, Forerunner is usually pretty dang straight and even, so... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> we'll do it anyway. And actually, delete, delete. Let's change our rotation snap here to 45. And get this into place. Let's see how this looks. Uh, 45 is a little too much. 30%. Oh yeah, that looks that looks perfect. So let's f rotate you around all the way. I like that. Like right there. Just that. That's. It's unique. Unique design right there. 
go ahead and uh, not save. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save map as. Since this is gonna be a foreigner-based invasion, let's name this. Catacombs. I don't know if I spelled that right. Actually, I want to look that up real fast. Please don't lag. It's be a bad idea to lag while in the middle of matchmaking. Wait a little bit. Let everything build itself up. How to spell catacombs? Catacombs. Okay. Okay, I got how to spell it now. Oh boy, my computer's about to die on power. Whoops! I need to plug her in. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm an idiot today. Oh, that was an epic laugh. Okay, so I need to change that I to an A. Okay. Sorry if I'm an idiot. So, Catacombs. That sounds like a good forerunner name, actually, and I might actually make it KV. Show you guys some glitching here. So this is where I'm going to put in my first scripting. It says, I showed you, told you guys, I'm going to get into doing some scripting, which is going to take a lot. Oops, sorry. It's going to take a lot of testing out to do. A lot of damn practice. So next, let's get into getting into some different unique things. Uh, let's go ahead and get into structures, slopes, and let's get into ramps. Let's get a fairly large but wide ramp. This is going to help assimilate those sides. So, so let's go with 15%. Whoops, I messed that block up. Let's go back to that slope. So that was the largest one. Not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, so position myself. Yeah, uh, something that the players can players can still walk up that. What about like that? Okay, no, that won't let them walk up. Okay, good. That seems pretty good. For good foreigner structure there. Okay. Let's rotate this bad boy all the way around here and place you symmetrically here. Now you guys are probably wondering why I just don't duplicate them together. I have a thing where I don't like doing it, so let's go ahead and save there real fast. So uh I gotta work on the outer design a little bit here too and everything, so it's gonna be slightly weird looking, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually duplicate you level you here because I don't want the players to be able to jump on that section so let's move these slightly here and get these here so good good let's make sh make sure good save again okay so now we kinda have our starting point this was exactly about right where the invasion is going to begin so now we're gonna need the area where the players spawn which I think is going to be a good spot to to replicate here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get floors. Um, let's do 128 by 128. See how this looks. Okay, that gives us more than plenty. We'll go ahead and use it just in case. Save. And now let's go all the way back to breakout. And let's go to supports. I really like the supports because they've not trestles, uh, columns. Because they really give out that nice little glimmish color that I enjoy and makes me think very much of Forerunner. So I'm actually gonna make this the gate, and I'm making this rather wide, aren't I? That's okay. So that doesn't look too bad. This is actually rather nice looking. Um, it's rather even. This is where the players will spawn, and I'll just make this a boxed room. And obviously this these will be shields of their color of their team, so you know they don't get spawn killed when they go out right away. Of course they will be going out right away. So I think this works pretty nice. So they're gonna run in. 
and um, inv invasions here. So uh, just for reference, I'm going to go ahead and go into game modes, stronghold terminal, and I'm just going to place you right there, save, and just leave that right there for now. Leave it like it is, letting myself know this is where I want an area to be and let that all go into retrospect okay so next is going to be kind of the complicated part of what I want to do here so first I want to get into a little bit of design here get into structures railings and let's see what we got on ramps uh, that's what that is whoops I'm an idiot let's go bars uh, yeah let's go bars bars We'll go about yay distance and yay distance. Okay, save. Oh, and I lost connection in the middle of saving. Ooh, that's not a good sign. This is why we save, people. This is why we save. Sorry for the bad internet connection. If it's going to start doing this, I'm going to hate myself. Because normally when it starts doing that, it does it over and over and over and over. And I'm not the one allowed to reset the router. That's going to be a pain in the butt. I was not expecting that to happen in the middle of a Let's Play. Well, you guys now know how shitty my internet is. and gives you an idea how long it takes to upload my videos when each one's a gigabyte because I like to do 180p. Yeah. Now you probably have a little respect for me on how tough. Okay, all everything in general is okay. So it saved that much. Okay, so hold on, guys. I am so sorry when that when it uh, does that in the middle of saving, I have to restart my Halo 5 completely. It's a good thing I saved, so it's there. It's not going to be deleted. Uh, good thing I checked on that. I'd be so pissed and have to throw away this uh, video if it did that. And yes, that was me cussing without trying for you to hear it. Even though you probably heard it. Sorry for the delusions here. I'm trying to stay within 30 minutes and getting into the scripting like I promised. Well, it forge does take quite a bit of time, and as I said, this is going to be a bit of a part of video, but I did promise that this video specifically would have some scripting in it. I was just about to get to it, too. This is making me waste two minutes of my time, which would have been scripting by now. Most likely. I don't care about your Valentine's Double Day. That's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, su Sunday. You guys probably won't see this on Sunday, but still. This gives you an idea. This is I'm recording it on the 13th. Anyway, back to Forge. Stop messing around, Nathaniel. Everybody, comment in the comment. Comment in the section below and just say, You idiot! Stop talking! Go forge! <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if, like, everybody, like, random people just start commenting, Dude, you're messing around, bro. <laughs> oh, I totally will be. Totally. Totally. Totally will be. While I'm waiting, I'm actually gonna go check my messages. I got seven messages. Last night I only had three. So these are probably the people's... Uh, saying, uh, yo, I want to be part of the Ohio. Yes, comrades. Yeah, there's one. Want... So, Smart Next is my friend. He's part of Ohio, too. So, okay. So, we have here. Good. Save is working. That, that's what I needed to check on to make sure it was saved. Uh, looks like it didn't save roughly when I put this other plate here, so let's get here. Uh, the, oh, I need to rotate this. I did not realize. Yeah, that looks looks better. Oh, hello. That explains where you went. Now let's just get into some precision editing here. Save again. I'm going to start saving frequently because I crashed. Okay, so Forerunner design normally has little things coming out. So structures, floors, let's go 16. Let's get you going. Yeah, let's do that. 
structures, floors. This one is a 32. Which one was I on? What do you? That way we can say accurately do this. Okay, that seems good. That would be the equivalent of you here. Let's make sure that looks even. Yep, that looks good. So there's that little floor runner porch. Now we're going to use the trick that I told you guys about the covenant. Uh, Forerunners also have that cool, nice little theme. So I'm going to go back down to barriers, energy, and I'm just going to find myself... Uh, that's not wide enough. There we go, that'll work. So let's go ahead and change my rotation snap real fast to 45. And get that placed in. Let's get it right there. So it's not terribly noticeable. So this this, this is going to probably be a little bit of the hard part. Uh, just for the sake of it, I am probably going to go ahead and add that there. And I'll have to add a kill boundary down there. So it's still not quite noticeable. But at least it's walkable across. Remember, what I'm going to do is actually copy you and drop you in there. That little space, because here's where where uh, our ship's the little ship thing that I want hovering is going to disappear to. So they, the thing spawns and they get to, to walk across here and go to the next area. So I think that's, that's a pretty cool concept and idea here. So, so we got a little thing going on here, and we're going to need to build a nice little big foreigner port, and I think I got a foreigner style that I'm, I'm actually going to build that was from Halo 4 for this. So this is our general shine, shine, sign up, so I'm just going to roughly duplicate a style that I remember from Halo 5's, four, uh, Halo 5's maps and kind of a unique pattern here. I'm just going to use these for now. Okay, so I'm going to need to make that one disparate, so let's do this. This is where it's going to get a little strange. Internet's freaking out. Oh, come on! <sighs> Did I at least save? Because if I lost all that, I am so gonna rage. It's because my damn parents are on the goddamn internet. I'm turning on my computer's internet, by the way. See if that helps anything. Because if it does this a third time, I swear to God, if it does it while I'm loading, I'm gonna be pissed. Happened in the middle of save, so I'm gonna have to do the flipping thing again. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry, guys. I am, really am. First off, it's not saving, so what did it save up to? Okay, good. Exactly where I wanted it. Well, back to Force Quit Halo. Enter Halo. Watch everything again. You know what, guys? I'm probably going to fast forward through all this. Just let it speed fast forward right at these particular moments in the video. Sounds like a good idea to me. A very good idea. Very, very, very good idea. That way this isn't so long, and it adds another ten minutes. Forge. Son of a... The damn thing is all pissing me off, and don't you dare start, Forge. Don't you dare start with me. There we go. What the hell? I selected my map. There we go. <sighs> Face palm. <sighs> this is making me more tired and stressed than I need to be. I'm already on four hours of sleep right now. I don't need this fucking game messing with my fucking head right now. Thank you very much, Halo 5 dedicated servers. Fucking 343. 
Can't even get their frickin' servers to stay connected to the people who have shitty internet connections. <sighs> what happened to the f fairness of gameplay? Alright, I think that amendment got removed for video game. Okay, so saving's working again, and it's good and back to what it was gonna be. So here's where I'm gonna go ahead and... Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. I made one too many. Save. Okay, good, good, good. So, just like in a former structure, this needs to get deleted. Because this is where it gets a little weird. And actually, I did this wrong. Slightly. I'll come up with an outside design later. So, this way is put the raise up. So, I need a good slope. Ramps. Uh. Oops. <sighs> Slopes, ramps. That actually might work. Let's try it at a rotation of fifteen. still go up so what I'll do is I'll because I'm gonna be adding on designs I'm just gonna as I said rough draft this kind of so here's the general idea of what I want going on here so uh, did I make any groups no I have not grouped and this that's the reason why I wanted to group real fast so this is just kind of generally how this goes and looks what I was thinking about the curve that was here that's what I was thinking about, so I was sorry for being an idiot. So, real quick, I need to make it where it bumps up just right to where it's even with that crap. So, like, in this scenario, let's just use this. Uh, boop. There we go, and it's still walk up a bowl. Okay, there we go. So we got a little platform lift going on here. Uh, can I delete that? No. Okay. Save again. Make sure we're saving. Okay, so this little platform is going to continue about yay distance. This is taking uh, quite a bit of space, and my limit for this is 100 blocks right in this area alone. So here's where it's, whoops. Oh, I did not select that, but okay. Halo 5's Forge is being glitchy. So I'm gonna straighten you up, and I'm actually going to go to tool settings, set you to 30%, and do that. So we got our little platform colliding here. No, that is completely wrong system. There we go. Saving. Done. Done, done. So we got our little map, which the players will be able to combat while they're on this platform, which is also supposed to be moving while they've got this going. So now the next step is to obviously fill this area in. And I'm just going to do it by doing this. doesn't have to be anything perfect at the moment. I'm not worried about corners, tips, or anything. I just want to get this filled up. So I'm actually not going to worry about this little tiny triangle right here because it's probably actually going to get covered up when I do this. So I'm going to go to structure. Okay, actually first I need to group this. So if you guys remember talking about grouping in the last one, 
Uh, we're going to be grouping this entire thing. Deselected that. Whoops. Gotta make sure it's all selected because if I go too many bricks, and this is the reason why I only want to group what I need. Because Halo 5 still has a glitch that hasn't been patched yet for the for grouping things. And for some reason, when you save and load back, it groups everything together, even though it was n they were always separate. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Object Properties, Create Group, as I mentioned, and voila. Now we got one full group. Let's go ahead and save real quick and lift up to make sure we got everything. Seems good. Now, so we reattach what we wanted. Let's go back and change the parent to this block at the end, which here we go. So now it's still walkable to the end here. Perfect. It's also jumpable, as you can see. So if they deactivate and players don't hear, they can still jump towards it. I am going to make it where this thing moves rather slowly to its objective, because some combat is supposed to be allowed to happen while we're on this. Uh, these areas is not where I want players to obviously be as the moting, the moat thing here moves. Uh, but it is going to go where it needs to go. So this here is our basis on what we need for the, sh uh, the little ship. So I kind of want to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to be doing here in a minute. So this is like the basis flat area. And there's going to be a way that goes up. So real quick, I need to get structures, slopes, ramps. And I need to know that is way too big. Still too long. Uh, still too long. Let's try 48. Mm. That one, maybe? Yeah, that looks better. So now they got their little area where they go up. Save. So with Strongholds, this is going to be a little complicated. As it needs to be invasion based. So obviously... They're going to capture this. They capture it, they can't quite make points yet, so... Um, I think that's great. So, real quick, guys, I actually need to take a peek here. I'm going to go ahead and leave Forge real fast. Don't worry, I told you I'm going to show the Skype skipping, uh, Skyping thing and giving myself some extra minutes. I don't really care if this video goes really long. I promised you guys I'd go into scripting, so uh, real quick. I want to check out strongholds. Uh, Shiny sniper strongholds. So let's check the settings out here. So in general, we have our time limit, overtime duration, round limit. Of course, we will have like two, two rounds or something like that. Rounds to win. Let's just say like, we'll say two rounds or something like that round tide limit blah 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 I put around limited obviously only have one life available uh friendly fire and blah 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 so none of that's gonna so player traits stunning weapon strongholds okay score to win it doesn't have many points to earn number of points earned per interval scoring frequency a lot Scoring threshold, two bases. What we'll do is probably three bases. So we'll make it where um, where they gotta have three bases, of course, in order to win. Uh, this invasion gate type is gonna be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and just get into the gate type here. So I'm, what I'm thinking about doing here is making the score to win one point, 
And what we're going to do is the scoring frequency will be three minutes, which means every three minutes it'll make one point. However, our score to win will be one point. So at the beginning, they can capture the enemy team can capture all the strongholds, which in that scenario will require them to. Uh, how many bases can you have total? Three bases. Okay. Uh, you know, require them to blah 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 this that and this. Uh. Time to capture. This is how long it will take them to capture. Invasion is around 20 seconds, so that would make sense. Capture rate with multiple players. Decreasing, increasing. I probably don't want to mess with that. Revent. Ah, uh, we want that to be fixed so that it doesn't move. Prevent spawning in strongholds on which I may want to disable that. So this gives me an idea on what I want to do. This is obviously what's on the map and whether I want machinima controls on or off, which I might enable. But then again, they can hover. They use my little trick. So now I get an idea of how I can actually forge this invasion case. Today. Now I see, guys, this is actually very, very, very possible on what I'm wanting to do. So this this will actually work I am actually dead on surprise that forging invasion for Halo 5 is possible with strongholds with scripting because I've already I already got set down what I'm gonna do so um, so uh, for further ado let's get uh, let's get to forging the right stuff so as you know, if the team captures the first gameplay, they stop the scoring because three bases are required, and that means we're going to limit to three bases. Which in Invasion, there's only three. So this is this is really cool. I'm going to be the first one to actually undo this. Think of this. So that, this is nice. So I'm actually going to. How big is this? Eh, that's too big. So let's go ahead and go to structures, floors, and let's go. Is this the one that's half of half? Yes, it is. Let's grab you and do that. Take you. Do that. And then, of course, yes, this does go back here. Whoa, what happened to you? I am having a bit of lag issue, so I'm going to save real fast. So I'm going to need to go a little slow here, guys. Okay, so we got our Okay, so we got our movable blick here. Our light map, as I can see, is going to be rough. And I'm actually going to completely ignore the light map. The only thing I'm worried about is block counters. And I will tell you why here in a minute. Most of you can be like, no, 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 don't just worry about that. Because, you know, the map will crash or something, you know. I'm actually not too tirely worried. Did it just give me Well it did. You know what, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and deselect, and reselect those. It gave me three again. One. So yeah, the lag situation is starting to happen for me, meaning my connection to the server has gone bloopy. This is temporarily, guys, so bear with me. I needed it so I can... Yes, there we go. Now I need my parent to be the middle one. Alright, good. Goody goody little two shoes. Let's get here. Here. Alright, so we have our minor design and I'm actually gonna move you in just a bit so that way those those outer points don't show. So now that these are grouped, I'm actually going to go ahead and ungroup these because if I keep them grouped, they're going to glitch together. So create group and then ungroup. File save. Oops. File save. So let's generate lighting here. Let's get a general idea and see how this is going to look. So inside the foreigner structure, no matter where we are, depending, I guess, this is kind of what it's going to give us when, when we add our lights. So now i got a general idea how the lighting in here is going to look. It's, it's looking pr actually quite okay. So uh, I'm going to go back into structures, slopes, ramps, and I want long and skinny. 
in that. This purpose is for this. Let's get you in the corner. Perfect. Flip you over. So now it's actually time to make this very forerunner a stick. As you know, I need to be careful about trying to use too many small brick brickings. Um, right here, I'm going to need to edit that a little bit. So give me you. Um, that'll work. up and down into the ship port area. Here will be a couple weapon cases, of course, which weapons will respawn. There's the one way down. Uh, okay, and I did not realize that was like that. I, that doesn't affect the map too well. So that's good. So I need to remember when I put this together, this whole thing is going to need to be welded together. And everything that follows it. So, the weapon cache spawning on this moving platform may not necessarily be possible, so I will have to kind of mess around with that, so. Let's go down into the bottom here and figure out what we can do to change the, the overall design of this. something that I can do to cover these holes, gaps up, which is supposed to be the inside of the ship. And this is roughly something I got going on. To me, this is looking very Forerunner themed. So this is a good map coming along. Uh, what's my time lapse right now? I'm sitting almost at 50 minutes. And as I said, I did promise I'd go into scripting, so... Bear with me for just a bit longer, guys. I'm trying to get the what I need in order to do the scripting. If I can't get to the scripting, I can probably almost guarantee you it will be the next video for sure. So, so we got our three points of entrance here, there, and obviously there. Just like in the border capture map. So, it's looking not too bad, not too shabby. So when I add the colors, it's going to be fun, which I'll do that when it's all grouped together. Generate lighting again. So roughly what it's going to look like. Back in the forge. Okay, good, good. Uh, underneath, let's take a look-see. So we got our little design going on here, which uh, actually looks rather fantastic. I see no need to really edit the bottom, except for maybe a few minor things. So now the top is another issue that I want to work on, so I'm actually going to replicate you guys and since I like that design of triangles going up I'm gonna kind of follow that concept let me light it back up in here so there we go and let me just take these blocks and formulate them where they need to go there we go blink and blink Alright, I am sitting at 50 minutes here, so I am am sorry guys, but I am actually absolutely out of time. This video is already going to take me almost 24 hours to upload. Uh, so, uh, this, this, this is the start of a map that you guys are going to watch me build from beginning to end, and when I'm finished, I'll even bring to you gameplay, and it's just going to be really nice. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, do get this video out. Let them know that I'm going to... Uh, well, actually, don't get this video out. Keep it quiet. I don't want other YouTubers to know I'm recreating Invasion, and I don't want them copying my gut to try and finish this before I do and get it posted and released. I want to be the first to actually create Invasion. 
So my only concern is obviously the floor bits here. They're very visible. But being forerunner, I don't see how that's gonna really bother us. Legs glitch out a little bit there. Eh, hello. Well. Alrighty guys, well, I'm actually going to go ahead and just stop the video recording here, and I will start up a second part for you guys here in just a bit. Uh, I got a couple more hours that I can do for some recording, so. Well guys, if you're new to this channel and you just enjoyed this content of me forging, going through so you guys can learn forge and visualization of it for those of you on the 360 or those of you on the Xbox One who want to get into forge or just watch people simply forge, well, I'm your guy. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these kinds of videos, watching up gameplay, and you guys get to see the gameplay of the maps when I'm done forging them, and it's just going to be... This is just kind of a fun concept I'm going to do for 3 and one in Halo 5 because of Forge. And obviously more Halo 5 content coming out. But this is like the main attraction to Halo 5 right now is Forge itself. So I figured why not since I'm going to be like the only one uploading videos for this. Why not? Uh, do keep in mind I do other videos from the PC to the PlayStation and other games on the Xbox. Once you know my games are done downloading I'll be getting into playing some of those as well and some PC games when I get a better PC finally and I'm working on getting the latest PlayStation for you guys so I can play some of the most updated games instead of the old crappy games even though it's cool going down memory lane you know from those who started from PlayStation 2 yeah, I think it's good if I you know get a little more up to date and maybe do a little bit of both some classic gaming and some more futuristic gaming such as this game here but uh... I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and once again, if you're new, comment, like, subscribe, and share, or do at least one of those. <laughs> Any of those. Something that helps me out will work. Uh, I, d I don't care if you don't want to or not. I'm not going to force you. I'm kind of not that mean when it comes to that stuff. And Solitary. Okay. I'll need to read this message later. So... Anyway guys, that's it for this uh, uh, part, Forge number one of the invasion game types that I am going to be developing with this map. So be sure to share your friends and let them know that there is somebody who is actually going to figure this out in the middle of the new Forge session. So hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and hope to see more in the future. Uh, this is Koga Gimente III signing out.